This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment education purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. If you're gonna make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos, that being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, so you get the videos I put them out, so you don't think it's your man on that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false, money gets a false narrative the market, so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I did a video about two hours ago on the ghost shares, and, and maybe I, I didn't go into detail enough, because some people are, are confused about what I was saying. And let me see if I can break it down and simplify it and explain it more properly. Maybe I didn't explain it properly. When FTX filed for bankruptcy, we found out that FTX was taking your money for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other crypto, but not actually buying the crypto. So if you bought one Bitcoin and you went into your, your FTX account, it would say you had one Bitcoin in your account. But in reality, you didn't have anything in your account. All FTX did was put it on the ledger. They put it, they put, they, they notarized your account with the one Bitcoin, but they didn't actually purchase any Bitcoin at all. They didn't purchase any Bitcoin at all. If you bought a Ethereum, they didn't purchase any Ethereum at all. They just put it in your account. So when you went on the platform, it would look like, like they bought the Bitcoin, like the Bitcoin was in your account, but there was actually nothing in your account. And that is what I believe a lot of the the brokers, not a lot, not a lot. That's not, that's not the right word. But I think a few of the brokers are, are engaging in criminal activity. I think a few of the brokers uh, uh, engage in the same thing FTX was doing. I believe that they are brokers, that when you buy AMC shares or you buy Ape shares, when you go on the platform, it'll say you have 5,000 AMC shares. It'll say you have 5,000 Ape shares. But in reality, they didn't go out in the market and purchase anything. They didn't go to the market makers. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't find a seller. They just took your money and credited your account. And and credit your account is, is not correct. Credit your account means that the shares were actually put there. They annotated the amount of shares you bought in your account. But in actuality, you did not have any shares in your account. And that's why I call them ghost shares because these shares do not exist. When you enter the platform, it says you have shares there. But in reality, they did not purchase anything in the in the open market. They did not even look for a seller. They just credit your account with the hope that AMC crashes and they get to keep your cash. Okay, I hope that is a better explanation of the ghost shares. As I said in the previous videos, please leave some comments if if you don't understand or if I didn't explain myself properly. Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.